ran out some protein ice cream. So we have uh, whey protein, PB2 or PB fit. This is the most ingre important ingredient, the xanthan gum. So we'll see how it turns out. I have a feeling it might be pretty sick. Everybody on the internet's loving it. So I never tried it yet. So here we go. That's crazy, and it's super thick, so like, that's, that's the blizzard test. That is crazy. Xanthan gum, it's, it was $12 for a bag, and I only put nine grams in. Good morning, folks. Saturday morning. So right now, it's around six, 6.30, I guess. Um, power was, is out, so instead of making coffee, I went out and picked up a coffee, a Starbucks. So I'm just gonna show you what I do to my coffees in the morning. And I enjoy this, it doesn't by any means, cat, get out of there. I enjoy it, it doesn't mean by any means it's the best way to get coffee, but I do put some stuff in it, supplements, um, like collagen. Sometimes I, I put some cinnamon in it uh, some cocoa powder sometimes. I do coconut oil and it doesn't necessarily, like a lot of people swear by the bulletproof coffee. Um, I don't do it. I do it for cognition. That's the only thing. I feel like it does give me a little bit of a mental boost when I put that in. And you also will experience a longer duration of the caffeine as the, the fat slows down the digestion and the absorption. So uh, a little bit of coconut oil in there can go a long way. So something that I will note is, um, that is the first coffee from a takeout restaurant I have uh, purchased since the 13th of March. And it's July the 4th. So um, I'm a little bit curious to remember how it tastes. And I haven't had a Starbucks in even longer. So um, collagen. The cat's going under the sink, which I'm not a fan of, so that's where I went to get the cat. Extra virgin coconut oil. So I'll just do around a over a teaspoon, I'd say two teaspoons. Now, word to the wise, this is not calorie free. So uh, two teaspoons is 80 calories. So that's about how much I put in. Um, if you are, if your goal is like fat loss and you're really crunching the calories down, this is not something I would advise to do, especially multiple times a day. I do only drink coffee now once a day. I have a tea in the afternoon, but uh, I'll throw this in. I'm gonna throw some cinnamon in it today. Standard cinnamon. And uh, mix it up. And it's good to go and that's how I like to get the day going. So the power is out here, like I said. Um, I woke up at 5.30, is it Saturday? So I'll sleep in a little bit, 5.30. Um, 5.39, the power went out. So I was like, well, should I wait to get this? Is it, without 
being able to make coffee in the morning really like <laughs> influences my morning routine. So it's at uh, six o'clock, I just said, okay, well, I'll just go get a coffee. Because it didn't come back. Anyway, see you in a bit. Alrighty, folks. So I'm going to be doing a voiceover during my workout. So uh, this was a challenge I was issued. Um, muscle ups, as many as I can get unbroken. And here was basically one of my first times ever doing more than one muscle muscle up in a row and I was able to get nine yesterday I actually did the same thing and I got 11 so um, they're actually really hard but this is the current split I'm on so right now in the phase of my workouts I am doing upper lower so I started off with pull-ups and now I'm into pull down. So I'm mainly just doing two exercise, two to three exercises per body part, the upper body. Um, starting to ramp my intensity up. This is my third week in the gym, I believe. And I'm able to push a little bit further. This is a really interesting exercise. I wish I could show it a little better. Uh, I was trying to my best not to get other people in the footage, but it, I call it exercise X, and it's strictly for the lats. Moving into pushes, I started off with machine press. It is very nice to be able to use a machine again, I tell you that. Uh, so this just felt really good. I've been sore, but I haven't been too sore, so it gives me a good indication that I can push uh, a little bit further. Um, moving into decline press, I did a couple working sets here at 275, and this felt heavy. Just to give you an idea of how heavy it felt, uh, I was benching on the flat bench around 360 pounds for a double before the quarantine, so I definitely ha will not be doing that soon. Now this is a dip simulation machine. I'm um, using it to target my chest as well as my triceps, and I'm supersetting this with a bicep curl machine. Uh, trying to get some extra work on the arms. So like I said in my uh, podcast I did earlier this week, or it was the end of last week, that an upper lower is a good transition into week two and three, and then you can ramp up. So this is what I have been working with. And this will be my last superset. So I have a concentration bicep curl machine that's what I feel like it's most closely to if I was to put a free weight movement there. And I'm supersetting that with a uh, tricep extension or skull crusher machine, as this would be the closest movement that it would be. Anyway, guys, it is nice to be back in the gym. If anyone has questions about working out, please let me know. All the best.